Well, hello there, friends. We're going back to the 70s. I'm making a chicken crepes. That's right. Crepes cannot be just sweet. We're going to make them savory. You got to make them with seafood. You got to make them with bolognese sauce. You got to make them with chicken. Today, I make them with chicken and a beautiful morne sauce. I'm going to show you how to do it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making chicken crepes back in the 70s. Okay, friends, well, <laughs> chicken crepes, that means we gotta make crepes. Real simple. It's like a pancake, it's a little thinner. Very simple, friends. I got a cup of milk, two whole eggs, a cup of flour. I should have got a, a bowl with a bigger mouth. <laughs> it's gonna be a little tight, but I think we can do it. All right, very simple, friends. Don't pay attention to the mess. A little bit of uh, uh, ground nutmeg. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just the background, gives a nice little flavor. And, oh, mamma mia, butter. Little melted butter. I want you to use about two tablespoons of melted butter. Very carefully measured. And friends, all we do now, we take our immersion blender, you can do it with a blender, same deal. Now you have the immersion blender, makes it a little easier. Salt and pepper, boom, measure carefully. <laughs> Always salt and pepper to test, eh? You cannot measure salt and pepper, friends. All right, do it very nice, take your time. If you have time. You want to make this a few hours before, better yet, 24 hours. Leave it in the fridge, and this is what you get right there, friends. You got a beautiful, nice, thick pancake butter, crepe butter. All right, so now, very simple. We got a non-stick fry pan, and we're going to use melted butter, and we're going to go up to about 300 degrees in temperature. Melted butter. Now the first crepe <laughs> is never successful, so don't let it bother you. What's 300 degrees? You'll see the minute you put your butter in there, it activates, okay? Now, regular butter is going to burn, but we like that. The little burn milk protein are gonna make the crepe beautiful. All right, so here we go. Now, this is a ladle of three ounces. Three ounces is a little short of, uh, of a half a cup. So if you don't have a three ounce ladle, who's got a three ounce ladle? You gotta, you gotta be a chef to have three ounce, two ounce, three ounce, four ounce ladle, right? So take a, a, a half a cup, measuring cup, go a little less and then you'll be fine. Now, a, a savory crepe, which is what this is, a savory crepe is never gonna be quite as thin as if you were to make a crepe Suzette. So you see, I'm putting the butter and I'm going around, I'm going around, I'm going around, Going around, going around. As long as this, you see the butter moving, the butter moving, you make it go around, you make it go around. You do not want to go in the edges that are on the side because the crepe will get too thin. So you stay in the bottom of the pan and you just keep cooking and, and then you're gonna flip it. Now, the crepe butter, like I said, friends, if you can make it two days before, uh, a day before, it's even better. The crepe is not gonna be as elastic, as rubbery, and uh, it's gonna have a better texture. You don't have time, two, three hours before. You don't have time, do it right away. Don't worry, it's still gonna be okay. So, how do we know when it's ready? When it's starting, where we can start to see a little color on the edges, and it's starting a little bit here. And what you end up with, let me move this out of the way, friends, I wanna show you. What you end up with, friends, is uh, crepe that are a little thicker, you see? They're a little thicker than a, a dessert crepe, 
Uh, but that's what you want because it's 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 a savory dish. Okay, you can make a seafood crepe, you can make a bolognese crepe with a mornay sauce, you can make a, a chicken crepe like we're gonna make today. You can make all kinds of different crepes. So look, if you have a good nonstick fry pan, you should be able to move it around. See and, and get with the action, friends. You see, you get into it. Get into it, so you move, you move it around, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring the crepe in the front, and you're gonna flip it, okay? So you bring it in the front, and you flip it. Okay, and this one is nice and browned. A <laughs> little too much, I've been doing too much talking. But you got the idea, right? It's very simple, friend, I promise you. Look, look, you bring it in the front, and boom. Very simple, okay, look. Bring it in the front, and pull. Okay, a child can do this. All right, friends, I'm gonna continue making a bunch of crepes. And, um, and then I, I'll clean up, and then we'll do the chicken, we'll do the sauce, and we'll do everything else. All right? So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends. So now we're going to get the chicken ready. I got um, about a cup of an onion, of diced onion, very small, very small, everything small. I got a, uh, uh, about four ounces of uh, uh, mushrooms, uh, portobello, baby portobello. They're like the regular mushroom, except they're all darker. I got a pound of chicken, a breast, boneless and skinless, that I cut in little bite pieces, little pieces. It cannot be big. You don't want to go in there and cut your thing. And then I got about, uh, I don't know, two, three cups, two cups of, uh, of uh, uh, sliced uh, spinach leaves. We're gonna saute the onion first. Let's make sure the pan is at the right temperature. We don't, we don't want a cold pan in there, right? And we're gonna go in there. We're gonna first, we're gonna saute the, the onion. All right, now, I'm doing them separately, friends, in different pan. You certainly can do it in the same pan, but you have to be careful because the onion is e easily burn before your chicken's got some nice color to it, okay? We want the nice color on the chicken. It's very important, remember? Maya reaction, caramelization of the protein. So it tastes better. You know, it's kind of like a grilled mark on the, on the steak, on the grill, you know, you want that grilled mark. Or when you pan sear a steak, you want that caramelization of the protein. That creates a great deal of flavor. And inside the crepe, it's gonna be nice. And then we're gonna make a Mornay sauce. And, uh, and we're gonna wrap it all up. <laughs> It'll be good, let me tell you, friends. All right, so chicken, let's make sure the pan is hot. You don't want to go in a cold pan when you put your chicken. And, it, and it's not cold, so it's good right now. It's 365. So I got a pound, like I said, of chicken that has been uh, uh, sliced in, diced in little bite-sized pieces. Like you do in the stuff, right? You don't want to be. You do not want to go in there cutting the inside of your chicken, my friends. All right? So, remember the onion, for, by the way, so many new subscribers. Every day, we got two, 3,000 new subscribers. So welcome, all the new subscribers. We're having fun. This is a channel where we love butter. We eat butter. We consume a lot of butter. But we're very healthy, I'll tell you what. Everybody's very healthy. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Thanks for joining. Onion always number first. You gotta remember that. It's a, it's a very important thing to remember, friends. Because you see a lot of channels, some people, they, they're lovely people, but they should do some plumbing videos sometimes. Oh, and I see them cook, ay, yeah, ay, yeah. they put all the ingredients at the same time. Ingredients don't cook at the same time, at the same speed, so you shouldn't be putting them at the same time. Okay, so. Look, look, see, that's what I'm looking for, friends. I'm looking for some caramelization right here. You see? You see right there? All right, it's very important, friends. Then you get that caramelization. All right, so, the onion, I'm gonna give it a little more color. And then I'm gonna put the mushroom and I'm gonna get rid of the water in the mushroom. And then I'm gonna put the spinach and get rid of the water in the, in the spinach. All that water, okay? We don't like it. So look, friends. What, what always helps you get rid of water is always a little salt. So don't be afraid to put the salt. And here I want you to give me some really, really good caramelization, friends. Because it's so important. It creates depth of flavor. It's very important. All right, a little more caramelization. I'll tell you what I'll do, friends. 
I'm gonna continue doing this. And when it's beautiful golden brown, I'm gonna put them aside and I'm gonna reserve it. And then we're gonna make the sauce. See, see, this is what I'm looking for right there. Right there, friends, you see it? I know Jackie's out there checking it out. That's what he's gonna have for lunch today. So see, that's what we want. Beautiful color. All right, how are we doing here? Doing good? Okay, good. Put the mushroom in there. Put a little salt on it. And let's get rid of all the water. And the, the, the onion gonna continue to cook. The mushrooms are gonna release all of their water. And when they're done, then we'll put the spinach. All right, so I'm gonna continue doing that. And then I'm gonna set up to make the sauce and to finish the quake. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, friends. Well, I got the chicken and the mushroom and the spinach mixed together. Now we're gonna make a little sauce. Eh? Very simple, right? Eh? It's like uh, the morning sauce, eh? So I got um, uh, 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 two ounces of butter and a quarter cup of, uh, of uh, a flour. And we're gonna make a little roux. Then we're gonna cook. And then we're gonna put some milk. I got two cups of milk. Let's find out how much we need. And then we're gonna make them. Very simple, eh, friends? Very simple. <laughs> you know, somebody, somebody said, I, I oversimplify. I say everything is simple. Oh, what's, what's difficult about this? <laughs> See? I don't oversimplify. Look, I got hot milk because it goes faster. I like to cook my roux just a little bit. I got hot milk because it goes faster, but you don't want to dirty another pot. Then just put a cold milk. You're not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm a little bit in a hurry, you know, for the video. I got to go a little fast. So... I can't be here all day. So look, uh, uh, the milk is warm anyway, so it's okay. And I'm gonna start with two cup and see how I go. And then we're gonna add the cheese, and then we're gonna put it with a crepe. So simple, my friends. I wanted to tell you, sometimes I forget to say things, and forgive me, because you know, it's not always easy. You, know, you got five camera going, and, uh, and, uh, and, and you wanna get one point down, and you forget three. <laughs> Yeah, you know, at home, I bet you do the same too. Well, you're not talking to the fine camera, but you forget things, right? We forget. Don't tell me I'm the only one. <laughs> so look, uh, I'm see my sauce getting nice and thick. I want to go to tell you something about the crepe. I'll tell you in a minute. Don't let me forget, okay? Remind me. I want to make sure I concentrate on that sauce right there. See, look, two cup of milk, really happy to take them. All right, so let's take this out of the way. So we don't have anything in the way. We're gonna let that cook for a second. And then we're gonna add a cheese. I'm adding some Gruyere. I got about two ounces of uh, grated uh, Gruyere. Uh, Swiss, Swiss cheese, put a nice Swiss cheese. Eh? Put a, whatever you want. Cheddar cheese would be good too. Gouda cheese, uh, brie cheese, mamma mia. All the cheeses. <laughs> put a whole thing. All right, don't be out there measuring. Don't measure too much, you measure a little bit, right? And then, um, see, look, look, it's looking beautiful. And then we're gonna put a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. If you're gonna put Parmigiano, put a Reggiano. That's all there is to it, okay? Don't go out there and putting that green, that stuff in a green box, eh? Mamma mia. I don't know what they make with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's sawdust in there, too. Uh -huh. A little extra flavor in there, a little sawdust. Ay, ay, ay. Like, look. Uh, I don't want to pick on some company, otherwise I get in trouble. So look, look, it's looking beautiful, right? You like? It's looking beautiful, I'm telling you. It's looking gorgeous. All right, so now, to make a little extra beautiful, here's what we're gonna do, friends. I got a little bit of milk extra in case I need it, but right now I don't think I need it. Um, I'm gonna make a really special because I wanted to have a nice color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of egg yolks, egg yolk, when the sauce cook is gonna give us a nice little color to it, okay, friends? Really simple, right? Salt and pepper, don't forget. <laughs> I'm telling you that because I was gonna forget it. <laughs> don't forget, yeah, I'm talking to me. And I'm pretending to talk to you, this is me, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, salt and pepper, please. Actually, you gotta wash because the cheese, if you're using a, like a pecorino romano, it's gonna be very salty. Look, when you put the egg in there, friends, you're gonna go fast, otherwise you're gonna make scrambled eggs. So you go like this, break the egg, Break it up, break it up, quick, quick, quick. I just got a hern here. And look, 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 you see how beautiful that is? Look at this. Now you know what I'm talking about. You see how gorgeous that is? All right, that's it. 
I got enough milk. That was it. That's all I needed. Right there, I got a beautiful sauce. Done. Put the crepe together. I was going to tell you about the crepe. I'm not forgetting it. Turn the heat off. Just a little more. Let's cook it a little bit more. Look, when you put the crepes, when you make them, you put them on top of each other. Put them on top of each other. Don't, don't put anything in between, okay? Don't go out there and put some pepper or anything, right? Put them on top like that. Okay, stop. Stop cooking. Otherwise, you're going to burn the bottom. You're not going to be happy. You got to give it a test, eh? Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Don't put a, put a crepe. <laughs> you got to rub that sauce all over your body. <laughs> Wait until it's not so hot. Um, put the crepe on top of each other. And as soon as you're done, put a plastic wrap on it. Otherwise, they're going to dry. Okay? Right away, right away. Put something on it. Otherwise, it's going to dry, friends. Okay, don't leave them at room temperature like that. You know what you could do also? You don't have to do that. But you could put a little butter in there too. Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we start with butter and we finish with butter. <laughs> so we are all buttered out. It's going to be delicious. I'm telling you, this sauce right there, you could just drink it. This, yeah, put, this is how I make my macaroni and cheese right there. This is how I make the macaroni and cheese. All right. Let me put the, uh, the crepe together. I like to have a little dish like this. It's fabulous, right? You take a crepe, right? You put it right in there. That's why I like those little dish. You see? It's wonderful. You can get them online. For, they're not expensive. And then what you do, you take your, uh, your mushrooms and, uh, and, uh, and your, your chicken, your chicken right there. Now, I think Jack ate some of that because I think I had more than that before. Yeah, I had more than that. I had enough for four now. I got barely enough for two. <laughs> so look, put that over there. You know, you can make it with seafood also, friends. That's a lot right there. That's too much for one. Um, that's too much for one. Uh, so I may have enough for four. I can make it with seafood. Sometimes I make it with a bolognese sauce. And I put the same bolognese sauce on top. It's fabulous. Then what you do, you take a little bit of the sauce. A little bit of the sauce, right there. Try to work away. You don't make a mess too much. <laughs> you notice when I say that, try to make a mess. Uh, to make, I'm talking to myself. Uh, Jean-Pierre, don't try to make a mess too much, right? Look, you take it, you put it right here, friends. Yeah. You think it's going to be good? <laughs> the Pope Catholic? <laughs> Right? And then you take it, you close it, goodbye, and then you take this one, and you put it on top, and for a little extra fun, you take a little bit of the sauce, friends, a little bit of the sauce, and you put it on top like this. Look at this. Now, you can cover the whole thing, <laughs> and there would be nothing wrong with that, right? And you take a little bit of mozzarella, cheese, and you put it right on top. And then, now, if you were to make them in advance, you can do this, put them in the fridge. But if you make them, like right now, everything is hot, right? All you got to do is put them under the brawler for a second until it's beautiful golden brown. So I'm going to put them under the brawler. I got the brawler right there. I'm going to make a couple more. I'll see you in a second as soon as it comes out. Then we can eat it. Okay, friends. I just left it in a broiler. Remember, if you're just making them and everything is hot, just put it in the broiler. <laughs> broiler is going to be enough to br brown your cheese and make it look pretty. But if you make them in advance, then you got to bake them until they're golden brown, until they're hot on the inside. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Very simple, friends. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut right into it. And hopefully it's not too hot. I'm going to go right in. Look, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. I love it. It's delicious. I'm so glad we're back, on the, back from the 70s. <laughs> I hope you make it. It's very simple. Remember, you can make it with seafood. You can make it with a bolognese sauce and a moni sauce on top also on the inside. It's fabulous. I hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends.
Wow, let me tell you, I'm definitely happy I was in the 70s because life was good. Now, life is still good today, but it is delicious like that every day. I love my job. Okay.